Speaker, most of us in this house have heard heartbreaking reports and stories about small businesses that have shut down because of government department's failure to pay them within the stipulated 30 days. But the figures that Honorable Khadeve shared with us this afternoon are encouraging, particularly to note that changes are taking place and that there are some departments that are able to pay suppliers within four days. I think government has to do everything within its power to ensure that the remaining departments that are failing to, to do as expected are heavily penalized because if others can do, do it within four days, then they should be able also to do it within four days. Now to tell some of the heartbreaking stories of what is happening in some departments and in some municipalities, there are reports of municipalities that pay service providers months after service has been rendered. And in some cases, only after physical threats have been made. Some service providers speak of victimization after attempts to solicit the payment that was due to them. Furthermore, there are reports of municipalities that reject invoices from service providers months after receiving them giving those service providers no time to make corrections. There is, Honorable Minister, no justification for such delays because if others can do within four days, I repeat, they also have to be able to do it. Otherwise, they must be retrained or replaced. Madam Speaker, during the recent public meetings conducted by the Public Service Commission, it was alleged that some of the reasons for late payment advanced by departments included capacity constraints and that hampered the department's ability to pay service providers on time. They also claimed that fraud and corruption resulted in late or non-payment to service providers and a situation where some service providers received preferential treatment. Service providers also gave input and noted, among other things, that invoices, some of them less than a thousand rands, take more than 30 days before they are paid. Departments did not always issue written purchase orders and sometimes made last minute changes to specifications without issuing a new purchase order to the providers. Payment was delayed where the power to approve the transaction was not delegated to other officials because one man wants to do everything alone. If he's absent, nothing is done. Furthermore, they asserted that fraud and corruption remains an obstacle to ensuring that service providers are paid timelessly and that often they have no option but to sue government for their monies. We are hoping, Minister, that as you gave reports of improvement, that this improvement will be seen in all departments provincially and in the local municipality. Thank you.